All right, welcome back, you crazy kryptonauts. So, let's just go through a quick video of, am I going to make any money GPU, CPU mining right now? Well, let's look at the boards, baby. We are at green. Green. Green is good. 40,400 Bitcoin. Ethereum, getting close to that 3,000 at 29.53. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So what is happening? I am still mining, have not touched the thing, have not changed my settings. GPU mining with my 1.1, my little 1.1 giga hash, making me some money each day, mining Ethereum, and my CPUs, I am mining the old Raptorium, for better or worse, for whatever you think, you know? But what is it looking like? How is it going? I don't know. It's just going, right? My goal my goal is to stack coins. I don't really care about short-term profits right now. I just want to get some of that yummy crypto in the hope that Ethereum and Bitcoin is going to keep going back up and then I can recoup my investment on my hardware and then rethink if I want to just keep that growing, reinvest it, keep the rewards and interest growing on my crypto or you know buy more equipment. I don't know yet. I am not sure. Uh, it all depends on this Ethereum junk coming out, the proof of stake. But I think I'm happy with 1.1. It's fine for me. It's a hobby. It's some extra money eventually. I could lose it all. Who knows? Right? You just don't know. You really don't know. All right. Let's jump on over to Ethermine. So I split my rigs out, man. I split them out. Why? Because of the stupid Ethereum gas fees. I, I think it's stupid. You got to wait to sit, uh, get to your desired payout level on your gas fee. And then, then you get paid out and you're paying this fee. You know, I do like 50, 60 around there. So that's like four to five bucks or something. Still, you're paying to get it out, right? It's kind of an Ethereum killer, I think, these horrible fees. And I'm really against it. And I think once they go to POS, Ethereum's going to tank because no one's going to want to keep paying those fees. And they got to realize the miners have been their advocates, have been their evangelists, shouting how great Ethereum is because you can mine it and make money. But once, once that's gone, sayonara. No more Ethereum. I don't know. It could just go away. Who knows? But nobody knows. That's my opinion. All right. So what are we doing? I have six workers on Ether right now. I am getting roughly, I hate to do USD because I'm not in it for the USD value, but people watching videos like to see numbers, fiat numbers. So 13 bucks a day on 344 mega hash reported 340. So around that ballpark mining Ethereum. So what is more important, guys, you need to change your thinking, is, oh my gosh, Ethereum. How much Ethereum am I making today? So I'm making 0.004 at the time, because you want to stack coins. If you're in this, you believe in it. There's no get quick rich quick, get rich quick theme scheme. I don't know. Uh, time in the market is more important than trying to time this market, especially crypto, man. Woo! Just stack the coins. That's what I'm doing. Not financial advice. Again, I tell you over and over, do not listen to any fool on YouTube. Do it for entertainment value. Digest the information and make your own decisions. All right, let's get going. So I had the full, I had all, all cannons, all giga hash cannons, all GPU cannons firing on Ethermine, baby. And I was getting, um, oh my God, 50 bucks a day or so. Whatever. Again, more than that, what I am now. So yeah, it was like 50 bucks. And then the winter started of crypto and it went down to maybe 20 to 30 bucks. So half, right? It was apparently cut in half the daily profits. So having gotten sick of the GUE, the Ethereum fee, I moved the rest of my rigs. So I moved the rest of the 700 mega hash over to mine Ethereum yet, but on two miners where I will get paid out in Bitcoin cutting down on the time I get my payout and the fees I have to pay. I just want Bitcoin and I'll take Ethereum as well. You know, I want to get to a, you know, a decent bucket size of Ethereum as much as I can get in Ethereum before it goes to POS, proof of stake. Yeah. So here I am on this guy. You can see these are all just a bunch of disparate rigs, onesies, twosies. You know, I just have kind of hybrided with my CPU rigs, you know, one or two GPUs on it. And that is what's happening right now. Uh, there you go. You get an idea what, what I'm going with Mega Hash and how much you can make right now mining ETH on Ethermine. Again, I'm paying 1% dev fee, and then you got to pay the pool fee to get out, you know, and then the transfer fee to get out. 
So, but in general, that's what I'm getting, 13 bucks. After electricity, I'm paying 12 cents a kilowatt hour. So, I don't know. What am I making? 10 bucks? Who knows? Just on this set of rigs. Now, let's go over to two miners, baby. Two miners for the win. All right. So, two miners, you can see my four workers. And these are the more beefy rigs I slapped together with whatever GPUs I could get my grubby hands on. And I'm at 712. 0.65 mega hash on these guys. And then the two bottom dudes are my laptops. I love laptop mining. I think it's the quickest way to get into mining right now is go get a laptop with a uh, even a 1660 Ti graphics card or a 3060 Dell uh, graphics card in it. Uh, yeah, go on eBay, check them out. You can get them for like under 1200 bucks. The Lenovo I got, I got for 800 bucks. Uh, the Dell was, I think, yeah, 1200 bucks. But again, I'm going to use it for work and home and other stuff. You can see I got my four rigs. Uh, yeah, I was talking about the laptops. I think that's a great way to get into it. Look into it if you just want to jump in. You, know, you have a nice laptop. You can game on it. You can do work. And then you can also mine when you're not doing it. So that is an option, guys. Consider it. I've done videos on it. I think it's a win. And those things run. Those things run. I don't have to watch them. I just have to make sure the dust doesn't clog up the intake fans. But other than that, the things have been running solid. Windows 10, no issues. Okay, two miners. I'm mining ETH, as I said. I am mining, but I will get paid out in the yummy Bitcoin. And you can see my average mega hash here. And roughly, I'm making 0 0.0111 ETH a day. And that averages over 24 hours. Estimate daily profit, right? Uh, and I'm getting 32, 33 bucks a day on that combined with the other one, which was... Again, we'll go Fiat, 13 bucks. So you get an idea of what you can get with 1.1 giga hash a day. And that's before electricity and dev fees and all that, pool fees and, and all that stuff. But here are the pluses. I'll get paid in. Yummy Bitcoin, pay a lot lower, hugely lower fee to move it to my wallet, right? And at which time when it moves to my wallet, I get extra yummy passive income on that crypto I moved in and roughly about 6% on Voyager and uh, BlockFi as well. At Voyager, you can buy the Voyager token and get more of a boost in rewards, which awesome. Links are below, man. I, I strongly believe in Voyager. I think go check it out. Do your own research, man. It's your money. Nobody cares more about your money than you do. Always do your own research. That is your lovely GPU world for me. That's all I know. I'm no expert. I'm just in it to just learn and have fun. It's a hobby. And a lot of people know a lot more than me. So um, right now, the goal is just to hold what I got, 1.1 giga hash GPUs, not buy anything right now because GPUs are not really going down as much as I hope based on the correction. Things are hovering a little bit too expensive yet for me. And I don't want to put too much more into it until I start getting a bit more money back, you know, stacking more coins, right? That's where I'm at. So I've also been CPU mining, which is kind of, eh, it's eh, it's meh, right? So what I do, I mine this Raptorium thing I've talked about in other videos, right? Here's Raptorium. I mine it on the old Supernova pool, which has a US URL in it. You can pick 0.5% pool fee. And I'm getting approximately, we'll show you 140. It's, it's, it fluctuates, right? 130, 140 Raptorium a day. And you can see at 0.0163 cents, it's really not that much money. So I call it just stacking coins, right? Here again, it's speculative. I'm mining it. I'm using my CPUs, burning electricity, and it's way down. And my goal here is to stack coins with Raptorium. It's all speculation. It could all go to zero and I could lose it all. But what I am doing right now is as I get these Raptorium paid out to me right here, you can see I get like in little spurts here and it's been going up i was just getting 12s here i got 13s i got some 19s 12s again so you know whatever let's say 130 140 120 you know in that range it all fluctuates i then manually move it over to inode z why do i do that because i want to get the transactions recorded in my wallet just for again reporting purposes but there was a video i put out yesterday about the irs and a couple sued them for having to pay taxes on the coins they staked and mine. I don't think mine, but so much is staked, but I think it, it applies to mining as well. So I, you, you know, really you shouldn't have to incur a tax transaction, a liability until you sell it. 
All right, let's get rolling. So I move it over to inode Z. You can see right now I am uh, at 8546 Raptorium. Not much at all, but that's me with four, four to six rigs, CPU rigs mining. Nothing beefy like some of the other guys you watch. But again, it's just me learning new things and trying and see what sticks. So what does that convert to? Let's see if it actually clicks. Wow, 145 bucks. All right, on 145 bucks, I get 7.73 estimated daily earnings. And that so far I've got 109 RTM uh, total rewards. And what I do with those, I reinvest them back into the smart note. So it's compounding. Not much, but it's something. And the goal is to just keep stacking RTM to get more so I get more interest. Again, passive interest is great. And that's what I shoot for. You want to make money while you're sleeping. Uh, so CPU mining, eh, it's it's really just stacking coins right now. It's it's not a money maker for me. It's not, you're not making that much. It's a joke in a way, unless you have a lot of rigs to throw at it. But uh, I think the real money yet is in GPU mining. You can still make some, you know, decent money uh, based on your rigs and hopefully get your ROI back and then go from there. All right, that is all I got. I, that's all I want to go over is what can you make? You can still make money mining. CPU is still on the fence. And the question is, what do I do? Do I just keep doing this and just keep these things burning electricity? So do I just keep these CPU rigs with the hope that Raptorium goes up one day and I keep stacking Raptorium? Or do I then just go and sell the equipment and make some money back because, you know, CPUs now, especially Ryzen uh, 9, 3900Xs, you can probably get a decent amount of money. I just don't see the profit other than speculation, speculative mining. And uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? What should I do? Should I get rid of these rigs, sell them on eBay or should I keep them? I just, I got four Ryzen 9s and I got two Ryzen 5s. Uh, yeah, I'd keep the Ryzen 5s for GPU setups because you don't really need that much CPU power honking away on those car cards, but uh, that's all I got. Yep. All right, that's it. I thought I'd give you a real little wrap up on can you make money. GPU mining, yeah, you can still make money. It's kind of coming back up. The date is 4 February. Honk, honk, 2022 day, right? Yeah, baby. All right, that is all I got. Go forth, do great things. Watch those GPU prices. I just see them kind of spiking up a little bit. Hey, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you all later.